So if we text a whole bunch in the group, do you suppose it'll keep him up? I hope so. I hope so, too. <laughs> <laughs> is it one thirty there? Well, that's what he yeah, said. It's one thirty in a.m. right now. Yeah. Mm. So I'm what? just going to start texting the alphabet. Just yeah. One letter at a time. <laughs> every five minutes. <laughs> you can set you can set messages to like send later on, so you could just sit there and program all of them. Can and you, it'll is text that, is all that a, day. Is that one of those uh, one of those those phone features that's on that shitty phone that you have? I do not have a shitty phone. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that you're the I one. I will because I. <laughs> you're the one. You're the only one. You're the one. <laughs> We've our pod- our podcast statistics say that only three percent of Google apps use are used to listen to this show. Mm-hmm. That's true. How do you? Reply? What does that have to do with my phone being terrible? Nobody has it. Because mm-hmm. Google That's sucks ass. The salt <laughs> right out of your ass. <laughs> the salt right out of your. Wait, ass. I thought we were talking wow. about Android. So now you're explicitly Android. talking about yeah. Google. I'll talk about Google too. Fuck them. <laughs> and their search engine. I'm a big man. <laughs> you know what people I'll go use on, Bing, God damn it. You know what you know what people go on Google to find Brittany? Indian motorcycles. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Presented by Memphis Shades, the clear choice for custom windshields and bearings for your motorcycle. And wild ass seats, stay in the saddle longer and in total comfort no matter your butt or budget. Man, I started on AOL. I'll go right back. (laughs) Oh, God, God, why would you do that? Well, you know, back in 1990 something, it was all there was. Terrible. Right? Before you were born, Nappy. And my I phone dealt bill with is going to be $800. Thanks, I'm not that that young. Hmm. You you only dealt with dial up because you lived in Nebraska. That's I mean, not true at all. It is true. You guys When did dial up start actually? You guys in Nebraska were uh 90s, You you were shoving antennas 90s. up cows asses trying to get internet connection. Hmm. It was in uh it was probably let me see Brittany, probably 90 94, 94, 95 is when AOL, dial up like AOL kind of launched. 92 is there what Wikipedia says. Well, I'm go. saying for the masses, I bet you it wasn't. I bet you it wasn't says, 92. There's this fun I'm website. I'm thinking called, I was 94, 93 when I got on there. Yeah, I think it was about I was like, 94. What is this too. fucking magical shit? <laughs> <laughs> This doesn't make any sense. And, you, and the thing you, is, when you were trying to explain it to people, people were like, what? Yeah. What? What is you, it? Yeah. You immediately went to a chat server, didn't you? Oh, yeah. That's Started all there was. That's, that's what you yeah. did. You just went to chats. Yeah, that's true. You talked a bunch of shit. <laughs> it says the first prototype was in the late 1960s. Must, My must wife still tells the story. Her freshman year at UK... She took an English class where she found out that all the communications are going to be done through email, and she dropped the class. <laughs> so she thought it was going to be too too difficult to do. To send an email? Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, it probably was then. <laughs> We're like, what is this electronic <laughs> intercampus mail? <laughs> <laughs> when I was in high school, they started pushing for you to, like, you had, it was required to have an internet resource on papers as opposed to like your typical books Man, or whatever. what the fuck's wrong with the Encyclopedia Britannica? It got me uh, through school just fine. I yeah. know. And it sucked yeah, I, because we didn't have internet in my house, so I had to sign up for sessions at the library. It was yep. the and you worst know what? fucking thing ever. You could get all the world's knowledge in 26 volumes. <laughs> <laughs> that was set on a shelf. Yep. It was Cover everything you wall. needed to get through school. And not only that, we all learned to plagiarize from the Encyclopedia Britannica. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't for Cliff Notes in the Encyclopedia, I would have never made it. Right. No, no one ever cited the Encyclopedia Britannica as a source. You just copied it right out of there. Right word, out of the fucking Word book. for word. <laughs> <laughs> what is but it had all the world's phrasing? knowledge in it in 26 volumes. It sure yeah. did. Fit right on a bookshelf. 
do you, I, I wish I could remember. Do you remember like some of them were really thick and some of them were thin? Yeah. Yeah, I wonder how they decided that. Well, some shit just wasn't that important. Yeah, the, the most popular <laughs> letters. Yeah. The most popular letters, I think, got the thicker volume. Wasn't much going oh, on duh. with disease. That makes sense because it, yeah. it was. It's all in alphabetical yeah. order. The uh, the volume for P was pretty big because there was a lot of pages on penises. Mm. Yeah. Only you, Ryan, would say this. <laughs> Big old penis chapter. <laughs> Some of the chapters were small. Some of them yeah. were large. Some of them were large. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Just never knew. Now the libraries <laughs> are barely existing. Yeah. Oh, Dewey Decimal System. I bet you that would blow somebody's mind now. A Dude. fucking card file. Mm -hmm. Go find that book. What? Hey, yeah. my, uh, my stepmom has a master's degree in library sciences, so we knew the Dewey Decimal System. We knew how to work that motherfucker Man, like, I, like I, a keyboard. We all knew the Dewey Decimal If you didn't, you weren't finding shit at the library. <laughs> <laughs> you had to work that card file. All I wanted to know where to find at the library is where the thrashing magazines were. You remember yep. those, Tony? <laughs> yep, and the mad magazines. Thrashing and mad. Yep, it's the only thing I gave a shit about in the library. <laughs> Where's the la latest episode of Thrashing? They're like, see those assholes over there causing trouble? That's where it's at. Motherfuckers. <laughs> All right. Are we, we podcasting this evening? Yeah. I guess I we have we, been podcasting I here, think, talking I about think, the encyclopedia. I think we might be podcasting right now, in fact. Yeah, I think so. We're six minutes into it, so we can say fuck as much as we want. We to. can. You know, we can start talking about real nostalgic shit if we want to. I mean, I think... Jared says there's a 10 minute uh, timer that other podcasts have on theirs. It, you got to go 10 minutes of mostly safe discussion. 10 minutes, really? Mm -hmm. So it'd be like somebody like hanging off your nutsack. Is that safe or is that no? Because no, you said that frowned upon. Yeah, hmm. I guess it probably would be. It's got to be somebody really said, obscure. Somebody said something now that their YouTube is even flagging people if they're if you beep out the cuss words. So even if Why you go in and edit, that? because you, they still know it's there. Yeah, they, I they, guess. they have an algorithm that that attaches itself to the beep, so they know you beeped something out, and they're like, "Nope, you beeped it out. You beeped out the cuss words." What huh. about if we discuss the tonsil, the tonsil tickler? <laughs> Would that be a frowned upon too? Is that part of a safe. motorcycle? It's yeah, obscure it enough. Oh, could we talk about a Q-tip? Hey, did any of you guys any of you guys ride this weekend? The toothless hooker. Nope. nope. No, we had kind of shitty weather. I mean, it wasn't too bad, but it wasn't great. No, it rained like a motherfucker here. Plus, it was, it was Mother's Day. It was pretty nice here, actually. But we I'm had left. shitty weather yesterday. Did you have it turned nice out in the afternoon, but yesterday morning sucked. We had beautiful weather. I rode on Saturday. I rode on Saturday. I did not ride on Mother's Day. Was but it I rode raining on Saturday. yesterday? I don't think we got as much as it said it was supposed to. I went I to was... I went to the Guardians of the Galaxy movie, which is apparently two and a half hours long. So I missed all of the morning weather. It was oh. good. Guardians of the Galaxy movie was good. I saw. I'm it too. waiting for that shit to come on Disney. <laughs> yeah, I do like the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Those things are funny. They are funny. This one's good too. Lot, lots of Ugh. lots of good lots of good lines in this one for sure. So you guys didn't ride at all this weekend? Nobody put any miles I did down. not. No. I did not ride. We are we are deep cleaning because we have house guests coming oh, Memorial Day weekend. Is Jeremy so coming? I, I had do what? Is Jeremy coming? No, no. My other sister from oh, okay. Boca is coming and her son. So Jennifer had me out with a pressure washer. Pressure what? washing the deck, driveways, oh, front wow. porches. Boy, you guys put a lot of effort into guests coming over. Shit, we just make sure there's clean sheets on the bed. You just got to make sure the shit's tight. You got to have your shit tight. Brittany, Brittany, make sure the sheets are clean and the dildos are put away. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I had to strap know, on, I'm, 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 I'm in high over. recovery, so I did not ride this weekend. My vision was still quite hazy on Saturday. I rode last week. If I'm not one day last week I rode, I think. Yeah, I rode to work again today too, so I'm finally kind of getting back into it. So it's been nice. I, I can't say enough good things, man. These bikes are fucking awesome. They are. They're a lot of fun. Speaking of awesome, 
We got a hell of a delivery on Friday at work. So I went up and saw those things, dude. They're sweet. Fast Johnny Road Glide ST, yeah. and we got the 120th anniversary CVO, which has the best looking 120th anniversary paint job on it, hands down. And then we got the Highway King in the Hi Fi Orange. How's, how's that, that thing? How's that thing oh. in person? Nice. Is it nice? Is nice. it? Is that it the is. like neon orange? That, that, that's the one that Percy doesn't like. Yeah, he I doesn't like cool. it. He doesn't is like it. Is it like it a really, really bright orange? Mm, yeah, I forget I, which I, one that is. What's it's it? not neon, but it's it's orange. Well, I mean, you know, he he doesn't he doesn't like the nostalgia because he thinks it's too much of a too much of the same thing that they did a couple of years ago. But I mean, that's all they had. He's in Paris right now drinking coffee, so I don't think it even counts. Uh, his, his, his opinion can't even count right well, now. Motherfucker's drinking little coffees and eating croissants. That's right. Hanging he out did, with he did, post, he did post a picture of some, I guess it was a coffee drink. I was going to ask him if it came with a tampon. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where's Comes the fucking coffee? This is full of whipped cream. Mm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'd be happy with some freeze-dried taster's choice. No shit, man. <laughs> this is some gourmet shit. <laughs> <laughs> There's something something wrong with when you, when you go to a uh, when you go to Paris and you sit down at a table and you take a picture of your camera with your phone and then you post it. That seems that seems <laughs> weird. That that seems that weird this to weekend? Me. Yeah, he's got a picture of his camera and his and his and his uh his froofy coffee that he drank. At some sort of a table at some outside cafe. That's the. <laughs> I miss. I want to know what that froth is it. on top. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that was the uh, that was the added bonus. I'm gonna think that was hand beaten. <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> there it is, coffee and cameras. Uh, he got the backroom special on that one. <laughs> he did. That's the hand beaten <laughs> topper. <laughs> Hand whipped. <laughs> hand whipped. How many layers of foam? That that that's how long that's they have hand it in the back right room. there. Only the best. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Disgusting. That's all uh, I have to say. I'm gonna say you. that next time I order a coffee at Starbucks. <laughs> I like the hand beaten foam, please. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> just for a reaction. <laughs> yeah, just to see what they'd say. I like my phone foam hand whipped up, please. Can you whip yeah. that up for me? Gross. And mm, I'm gonna gross. start I'm gonna start using uh um I'm gonna start using Star Wars names too when I go up there and they call my name. She's like, Can I can I get your name please? I'm gonna say Obi. <laughs> Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you spell that for me? No. No, I can't. So oh, yeah. Dustin, are the, are those bikes still available or are they gone? Well, they, they didn't actually hit the showroom. So what I did was I, I started a YouTube video on Friday. The truck didn't arrive till about 5 o'clock, and we closed at 6. So I went out there and caught the footage of them unloading the truck to show everybody how that's done because that's stuff nobody sees. Yeah. And our guys are really, really good at that. So I wanted, kind of wanted to show people some behind-the-scenes stuff of how trucks are unloaded off – or bikes are unloaded off these trucks. But, yeah, it was, um, it was really cool to see those two motorcycles. So were they yeah, sold? Were they cool. sold already when you guys got them? No, they weren't. They they haven't hit the showroom yet because usually when they come off the truck, they have to be built oh, and yeah, inspected yeah. in the back before they hit the showroom. So they'll probably be up there tomorrow, and I'll be they able gotta to finish plug them video. in the computer. Well, they're usually already in the computer, but they have to you know do all the checks, make sure the oil is where it needs to be, and if there's a windshield, the windshield has to be put on and all that stuff. So sure. Hey, are those are those uh, fast Johnny bikes? Are they numbered? You know, I I didn't look hard enough at the fast Johnny before it went in, but I know, of course, we know the Highway Kings are. Yeah. But there's a thousand of the Hi Fi Orange and the Hi Fi Red. There's only 750 of them. Oh. So I thought they were the same. There was the same number, but no, the red is rarer. Interesting. Than the orange. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. Mm. Yeah. People like the red. I guess. Well, an orange is a Harley color, so I mean, I guess that makes sense that they'd make a few more of that one. Cock smokers. <laughs> it's a nice bike, though, man. No, they. I haven't. Yeah, I. They're pretty, pretty badass. So, this weekend, so I, I was, I was talking to Kenny because um, obviously he sold his, 
he sold his heritage and he has a Road King special now. And I was talking to Kenny about about the two different motorcycles because this weekend, so for those of you that don't know, uh, Nick and I both have 475 cams in our bikes. Nick has a Softail Heritage. I have a Road King Special. And um, Nick's bike's a little bit older than mine, so he has the 114 in his. And we both did pulls in third gear. So we were right up next to each other. We counted to three, and we just did a, a you know, in third gear going, what I don't I don't remember what what speed we were going, maybe 30 miles an hour or something like that, or 40 miles an hour. And uh, we did a pull, and uh, I really pulled away from him quickly and stayed ahead of him. Um, and, and he and he couldn't get up. We did it three times, and each time I, I smoked him. And so I wasn't sure if his tune needed some work. Tony thought, well, maybe you know, maybe Nick isn't uh, quite quite there with uh, you know doing a doing a dry pull on third in third gear. Well, it might um, be that also it might be he's at a lower RPM than you too because he's a little bit bigger than you are. Well, yep. And so the other thing that uh, um, Kenny said to me today was he said, having ridden a soft tail for all that time and now putting miles on a road King special, he said he can vouch for the fact that he said the, uh, the soft tails and the touring models are geared differently. And he said, you have a lot. Um, he said, you have a lot longer range in each gear in the touring models than you do in the soft tail, like the soft tail, you kind of need to bang through the gears faster and, the the um you know the touring, the touring models you, you just have you have a more bit longer you have more yep you have more in in each gear so that's at least that's what he how he feels about them because he had the heritage 114 and he's got the the um road king special which has a 114 in it so you know he's he's riding on the same platform but different frame models and and different uh platforms so you know how's he like that road king uh, he likes it a lot. He uh, he do, he's not he's not he's slowly getting uh, his mods. I would say by FDBM, he's going to have a lot of comfort mods done. He's already got a seat. He just ordered his foot controls. He ordered uh, bars, risers, and a top clamp from um, OG. Um, and uh, yeah, and he already had a seat. So all his comfort mods are pretty much going to be done. Oh, the Memphis Shields fairing. And so his comfort mods are pretty much going to be done. I think after that, he'll start talking about performance mods. But and then Bob put on um, he regeared. So he cammed his his old Evo and, uh, and he put a badass Reinhardt on there, too. Uh, no, it's a Bassani. It's a Bassani. That's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he sent Bassani. me a picture this weekend. Yeah. And it looks really really fucking nice you know basani has that really kind of cool uh shape to their pipes that yeah curves around the the bottom end of, they of sound your, good too yeah yeah and, and it's a full full system right so it's all the way for the motor all the way back yeah. two into one uh just a really really nice looking pipe i i'm super impressed so and then he uh he ran out of gas <laughs> yes <laughs> he ran out of gas yep Poor Bob. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, it's a situation every time he gets on that thing. Well, he, he went out and uh, put the exhaust on his bike. Then he went to work and went and planted sugar beets until 10 o'clock last night. So, yeah, he's in he's in full planting mode right now for uh, for the farmer so that he's working, working for. Got them sugar beets. Yep. Yep, for sure. Out in the fields now that farmers are going planting like crazy right now. Everything, man, our weather went from complete horseshit to summer in two weeks. I mean, yeah. it was beautiful. It was 83 degrees, no clouds, little wind when I got yeah, home from no, work Yeah, no, we today. did this. Beautiful. We've done yeah. the same shit. We're we were just a little sooner than you. Yeah. So I'll vouch for the farmers, man. Fucking allergies are at a 10 right now. <sighs> Dude, they're awful. Mm. I was popping, outside yesterday. Popping and... freaking Claritin like Tic Tacs. Yeah. I was outside yesterday all day, and boy, my fucking allergies today are fucking honking. It sucks Terrible. when you have them when you're riding and you sneeze in your helmet. Oh, oh God. Oh, that's bad. Oh, well, I mean, where's it going to go? Oh, <laughs> it's like farting in spandex. Oh. <laughs> it's, that is the only thing, I think, besides, like, taking a drink, um, the only thing, like, legitimately a... 
uh, modular modular helmet is good for. So you can lift up and you know, I guess smoke if you smoke a, if you smoke, but um, you know, take a drink or, or sneeze or cough. But I have I have seen now. Um, I was I was listening to I was listening to another podcast and they they were talking about how they rolled up on an accident and uh, the dude was wearing a modular helmet and the whole front of the helmet was gone. Yeah, when, that's he, what when, I he, worry about. when he slammed on the ground that that whole front face piece came right off the helmet just blew right off and that's why i don't wear one yeah yeah i i, I don't know that the modular helmets are are nearly as safe as a regular full face well, no they're they're not. also they're most of them are just dot rated so yeah i think some of them had that ece but none of them can can uh, hold the snell rating yeah mm-hmm no, I've, I've been uh, I've been really happy with my Simpson, man. I got that new one that I've been rocking this year, and and uh, I'm I'm really happy about it. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'm even more happy about that Pack Talk Edge. That thing that is fucking, fucking thing is nice. bomb. Oh, yeah. it's the bomb. So what's what's so much better about it than the previous version? Just the fucking mounting system. Yeah, Way the nicer. mounting system is super dope. Yeah, it magnets on, right? You have a yeah. piece, and then it just like pops just on. snaps on. Yep. And then um, there's just like some like little features, like when you power up and power it down, it gives you the battery, tells you the battery life when you power it up and power Ooh, it down. Ooh, that's nice. The battery life is a lot longer than the other one, just in terms of, of use and how it how it works. Um, connectability, obviously, is the same. It comes standard with the JBL speakers, so you're getting really good sound quality. Um, I found at least for me talking on the phone and that kind of stuff is perfect on that thing really let me good. tell you if mine wouldn't have broke i wouldn't have bought a new one mm-hmm. but oh you, yeah the bold I is mean, good that's kind of where we yeah. are at we have yeah if slams. mine wouldn't have broke i wouldn't have bought the new one but the new one does have some nice new features yeah yeah the bold so is, is still very good yeah dude the battery well, life's I mean, fantastic if i yeah. if i ride to work tuesday through friday it'll last me all week and then some yep i know yeah. i've got a 40 minute commute so it's, oh yeah sure it's 70 miles a day and you're Mine listening to music die, the whole though. time, probably. It didn't What's... last very long. You're bold. No. Yeah. Ours lasts pretty long, and even My when it gives you that notification, bol- well, we I had one where the charging port went bad on the slim, yeah. but I guess it was like a known issue, so they replaced it, no questions asked. Um, like it didn't did even matter so what lucky. the warranty term was. I did not get so lucky. They told me to go kick rocks. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> We've Justin, had you, only good experiences with Cardo's uh, support. Do you uh, um, do you listen to music when you commute? All the time. Yeah. Okay. I listen fucking loud too. <laughs> loud enough so you can't hear your bike. Nah, I, I can't do that. No. Oh, okay. I could be listening to fucking kill switch engage on <laughs> all the way I, up, but I'm still not gonna beat the fucking exhaust. I heard a motherfucker last night at the red light that had his radio up on his Harley so fucking loud that, I mean, I didn't even know radios could go that fucking loud. Was it, well, he was just, ro- just rocking the Bon Jovi just like crazy. Setting fucking just dude, just, cr- I mean, he was across the, on the other side of the street. <laughs> and I was like, God damn. I was like, that is <laughs> awful. <laughs> that is it's, noise pollution. It's, it's usually two things, right? Three, three things. You got Bon Jovi playing that loud. You got Nickelback, or you have uh, Nelly. Those typically are the three things that they play really loud on their stereos. Well, it's just like it's like the uh, you know I'll probably piss people. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> just say but it. I mean, I'm just saying it's like let's get the loudest exhaust we can find and the quietest helmet that we can wear. And now we're going to have to buy a radio that's going <laughs> to melt your fucking face so you can hear it. You know, <laughs> over the exhaust and through the helmet. Mm. Ryan, I, I don't know how many times I've gotten on a used bike at the shop, took it around for photos, the radio c- kicked on, and fucking Bon Jovi was playing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that comes programmed in. Uh, <laughs> and they're usually all road glides. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> programmed in. And you're just, as soon as you hear it, you just start laughing your ass off, don't you? Yeah, it was like fucking typical. <laughs> All right, let's get this cocksucker taken so I can put it back in the showroom. <laughs> Got the Bon Jimmy. 
Or ACDC, but I like ACDC. Dustin comes in and he's like, anybody notice my pants got stonewashed and ripped up while I was outside? (laughs) (laughs) Stereo blue holes in my pants. (laughs) So fucking loud. (laughs) They are extremely loud. Jesus, they're loud. Yeah, I've seen people upgrade their speaker system and everything, and it's it's a lot. Well, I think the... uh, I think the amps on the road glides are are in the fairing, aren't they? Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure they are. Mm-hmm. They have to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I mean, it just it, it you shed those you shed those amps out of there, and you're probably losing 20 pounds of weight. Well, off that bike. Let's see how loud we can make this motorcycle. <laughs> let's put straight <laughs> pipes on it and an ex- fucking a radio that'll just fucking blow windows out of a car when you drive by. <laughs> If they were awesome, they'd have that song, Fuck the Police. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. No, I can't wait to photograph those two bikes tomorrow. Like I said, I started a YouTube video to feature both motorcycles in one video. Sure. And like I said, I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I might be doing it doing it in the studio, which is fine. I was hoping to do it outside, though, to get the drone out and, and all this shit. But I, I think got it's dro- supposed I- to rain here, too. Yeah, I think there's like 70% chance of rain tomorrow, but it might clear up. Who knows? Weathermen are usually full of shit. <laughs> Brittany, how long before you can ride before your vision is squared away? Mm, I could probably honestly ride this week. Um, <clears throat> I just prefer not to because I don't want to risk getting something in my eye. Every once in a while, it's like something just gets into the helmet from the bottom side. So... Do you have a chin curtain on yours? I do. That definitely helps. Mm-hmm. The last yeah. so when we did the test ride uh, was that last w- or a couple weeks ago. Yeah. I just I just kept all my vents closed and everything, but sure. I was already a month healed for the first eye. This one. You need to get some goggles. Put some goggles on. That's not a bad <laughs> idea. That's a good True. idea. You know they make those uh, um, the glasses that have. I think even even Harley, most almost every dealership sells them. They're like sunglasses, but they have foam around them mm-hmm. that yeah, put up I've against tried, your eyes. I've tried some on actually, because when I did the first eye, I was really I'm. You guys know me. I'm a warrior, so I'm like, okay, I don't need to get an eye infection. I'm going to come to Illinois. I'm gonna send you home with a shitload of edibles. <laughs> you will stop worrying real quick. <laughs> Just put some goggles on. When when Jay was at Marquette, he drove his car from Marquette to Louisville with no windshield with goggles on, and he made it just fine. What what was that for? He had LASIK? No, but his windshield got busted out, and he came here to get it fixed, and he came oh, from so Wisconsin. He- so he just put <laughs> goggles on and drove his car all the way here in the fucking wintertime. It looked like the no fucking windshield. Red Baron. <laughs> yeah, with no windshield in it. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm probably I'm being overly cautious. I just really don't want to risk getting an eye infection. I should be, I think I should be fine though by next week. Well, you rode that ST. Should have kept all your wind off, all the wind off your face anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we didn't. I had, like I said, I had all my vents and everything closed. I was like, I'm not risking this. But we did didn't Jared, go very did, fast. Did Jared either. ride the ST? Yeah, he did. What do you think of it? He liked it too. I'm. It's it. It was so. You're having buyer's remorse, aren't you? No, not really. I mean, I do <laughs> really like. I do really like the fairing, but um, I'm glad you asked though because I have never ridden a motorcycle that had a fairing like that. Okay. Like I know yep. we have. I know you call the Memphis Shades a fairing, but it's yep more like a windshield, right? Um, so it was actually pretty interesting. Um, you can, I could tell that it was there because I've never had anything that was, you know, up at the Mm -hmm. top of a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Um, so when I first put my feet up, I was like, oh shit, am I going to fall over? Um, but it's, I'm sure it's so much more lightweight than like any of the touring platforms. I could, when I rode it, it was fucking great. Oh, it's such a cool fairing. I really like it. Dustin's just over there hating all of us. But, he is. You know. But it does keep the wind off of you. He does a great job of deflecting the wind. And it's a it's a um it's a frame mounted fairing like the road glide, right? Yeah. Now, I, I think that does take some getting used to. 
At least well, for me, it was a little weird. It doesn't move. If it, yeah, your your field of vision, your field of vision is different too, right? Because yeah. you're not. I didn't and, and notice when you, that. The field well, because you can't look. You can't look. You have to look further ahead because you can't see in front of you as easily because you have the fairing there. Yeah, that's true. I mean, and well, and it was just a short test ride, so I'm sure I wasn't thinking about it that much. And obviously, with my one bum eye at the time, I was right. being overly cautious and not focusing on that. But it was it was a lot of fun riding it. Um, I think it's interesting how it has, you know, like a lot of these soft tails. They have the same frame, same parts. Mm -hmm. across all the different lines mm -hmm. but like I, it felt like you sat up a little bit higher on the st versus mine and i don't know if that's just because of the stock seat is different or if it's actually up higher but it's it's kind of interesting it's seats well, and handlebars and yep and that has a yep, that has a higher higher lean angle yeah. i think the shock heights are higher it has you know the front forks are different it's got it's got a it's got a 28 degree rake instead of a 30 degree rake so it, it's yep. a little bit it definitely in the turns. Want, yeah, higher. it definitely wants to lean. I noticed that right away. Yeah. And it and that engine has I mean, I could tell a difference on it right away from what is in mine. I forget what the two, the difference is, but Oh, that's the one. You have the 107 and I think it, that has a 117 in it, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, it's rowdy. They're rowdy as fuck. I mean, Tony's oh, yeah. Tony's with uh his bike cammed it rode significantly different than mine too. It's it's yeah. rowdy. It's it's a little bit mean, kind of nasty actually. Yeah, it's it's yeah, pissed it off. Was, it yeah. was a lot of fun. I really I did really like the motorcycle a lot, but it's damn near the same bike that I have. So if, if, I mean, if let's, anything, let's, if you get down to brass tacks, they're all the fucking same. Yeah, you know well, it's the same fucking motorcycle with different furniture on it. Yeah, it's true. I I would. I think I would like to buy the fairing and try to put it onto my motorcycle, but you that's can. a down the road. Yeah, you can. No, you can't buy the mount. It's 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 uh, VIN locked. VIN locked. It's you not. Can't buy the mount. I yes. asked. I asked some Harley people. They said it's well, not. You try to buy. You can got buy everything but the mount. Gotcha. You can get the fairing. You can, you can get the buy the fairing. <clears throat> but yeah, I think the only difference between. The low rider and the street bob and all the other ones is a twenty eight degree uh rake angle on the front where all the other ones have a thirty. Hmm. You wouldn't think that like it's such a small difference, but it makes a whole lot of difference when you when it's handling. I still think that uh um I still think that as I get older, if I get that, you know, kind of that weakness as you get older um i might get a smaller bike rather than a trike. bigger one rather than a trike you know what i mean that's that that's that midlife crisis i ain't buying no trike god damn it <laughs> <laughs> i'm riding this sporty motherfucker until i can't stand anymore <laughs> i'm gonna sell my truck and my big bike and i'm gonna yeah. buy a sporty bike and a corvette yep well realistically though if you maintain your health as best you can you should be able to ride for a while i guess your risk is higher right because if you crash you're fucked like you're not going to recover i don't think it matters you if you're 70 or fucking 14 well i you mean go it, down doing it does. 100 you go down doing 80 miles an hour you're fucked either way but it does still matter because you're more susceptible to like breaking bones and your healing is not going to be the same as when you're 30 or 40. Your uh, your your bounce back is quicker when you're younger, but I tell you what, the cement feels the same. <laughs> it feels it's, exactly it's, the same. It's hard as fuck. I'm just going to I'm just going to say it's hard. true. I yep. don't want to go down at all. Let's just go with that. Nobody does. I prefer to stay upright. I mean, well, if somebody wants to crash, they need to go see a therapist. I got some news for you guys. You crashed your motorcycle this weekend? I didn't crash. He sold but, it. But I got thrown off that thing like a rag doll. Oh, you shit, got I thrown you off of it? fucking with this. What happened? Yeah, no. So uh, when Nick and I went to ride on Saturday, I uh, um, had pulled up in the parking lot, and I was mucking around with my FP3. And I was just looking through the, the settings on it and looking through the uh, maintenance stuff and checking error codes and, you know, just the, just wasting time, basically. 
but I had put my bike on the side stand and I got tired of sitting sideways. So I stood my bike up and I put the kickstand up and just kept my feet on the ground. And I was mucking around with it. Nick pulls up and I had gotten my new Cardo. So our Cardos didn't automatically connect. So I was like, Hey, let's get, get our Cardos to connect. So we were trying to get our Cardos to connect. They weren't connecting. And I was like, hold on a second. I'll, cause he was put, he kept pushing the wrong button and it wasn't going to mesh. And I'm like, hold on a second. I'll get it for you. And I stood up and I leaned my bike over. Like I was going to put it on the side stand and I didn't have my kickstand down. Oh mm. no. And it just went. And as soon as it got to the point of no return, it flung me off that fucker. Like I was a rag doll. I, I went into, I did a tuck and roll, busted up my knee, <laughs> tuck and rolled on the ground. Yeah, just, I mean, Nick was like, the first holy time you shit, forgot? what happened? Is that the What's first that? time you forgot your kickstand? I've never, I've never not put my kickstand down. You had too much shit going on. I just, I wasn't thinking. It was like the third time I'd gotten out that season. And I'm just like, you know Did what? you hurt your bike? I mean, the scratches that were already there. Wow. <laughs> so no nothing that wasn't i mean i have a scratch underneath the bottom of my primary which was already there and actually it's the same place that any of the guys with like performance true performance baggers that are really riding them hard they scrape the bottom of their primary it's yeah. the same place that i have a scrape on there um no the crash, crash bars bar and, that, don't you yeah crash bar and, yeah. and i actually have highway pegs so they they kind of la landed on that la you know a little bit on the bottom of my bag which already had a scrape on it anyway, so you can't see it because it's all in the bottom. I, I mean, but what the some bitch say? threw you off like a toothless hooker oh, when the time was up, dude. You are <laughs> not kidding, man. I I, <laughs> I flew, and and it was weird because it got to that point of no return when I realized there was no way I was going to be able to hold it up, and and I just it, it fucking threw me. Like I that sucks, I was though. clear, I was clear of that bike. I was laying on my back on the ground when that when i looked up and that fucking thing was completely Boy, and those motherfuckers over. get to that point there's no stopping it dude nope nope and not i mean in mind i mean i tell you what those touring bikes they're fucking big bastards mm -hmm. 900 pounds there's not any yeah. holding it up i was gone. imagine no, imagine there's no stopping it. imagine hauling or duck walking the older ones around dude fuck that because i do that when i have to pivot the bike to yeah make to do the different angles and everything yeah, some yeah. of those bastards are fucking heavy yeah, like oh, top heavy. for sure, for sure. Yeah. But so yeah, those CVOs, I just, those CVOs will fucking get you. And and you know, this is the thing. Like every time something like that happens to me, I it just reminds me like how quickly something can happen. Like, you're just, I you know, like don't get too cocky because you're going to end up on your ass. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You just every you, time you get humbled. Something like that's happened to me is exactly in your situation. Where I was fucking with shit, yep. yeah, you're and just not paying attention to what I what I should have been doing. I'm like looking at my phone, turning on the cardo, doing this, trying to get music, and fucking dump clutch, <laughs> fucking yeah. bike's gone. You know, what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I have so. dumped the clutch more times than I want to admit, but so far I have magically not dropped the bike. But the last times after I did the mid control conversion. We took it out and it was, I was distracted. I went to stop and just completely forgot to put it in neutral and bashed up my leg really good because the uh, floorboard slammed into my leg real hard. Well, it's good stuff, I man. I tell you what, what's really getting me right now is uh, every time now I'm pulling up to an intersection, I'm putting my feet down in fucking sand. And I oh, am oh, from all the. Sh I'm on the road and, and yeah. they've cleaned all the roads, but there's still fucking road debris. And I'm just nervous as shit that my foot is going to slip out. And I don't know why, but I'm just like, God damn it. There's all this sand on every fucking road right now. And <laughs> you, well, the fucker, just like you got like your whole pebble. foot on the ground too. I'm over there like twinkle toes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do. And, and I got a new seat last week. So I'm even, I'm even lower to the ground. So now not only am I flat footed, I'm flat footed with a bent ass knee. Well, good for you. <laughs> I'm fucking like a ballerina over there. Just get some of those uh, platform shoes, Tony. Yeah, we're gonna Might get Tony some to. platform vans. They make uh, <laughs> they make ones for females that have like the heel inside the shoe, so you'd never even know that the that the heel was there. My oh, mama they, said they were my they magic do. shoes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 
Run, Forrest, run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, fuck. I, t- I tell you what. Discord questions or anything? I, I tell you what. I am. Uh, I- I'm really looking forward to uh, to getting out and uh, um, getting out there and riding riding in Dustin's neck of the woods again this year. I'm I'm I'm, I'm excited well, for that. Well, if more trip. you fuckers start showing up, I'm gonna have to order pizzas instead of steak. Yeah, dude. you are, dude. <laughs> Let me tell you what. Jay ordered this fucking tent. It's the baddest motherfucker I've ever seen. Yeah. It's it it's got a those... carport for your bike. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah those yeah. are cool. Yeah, I bought a collapsible chair for uh, the ride next month with Roger. Yeah. This th- this thing, I-, I shit you not, is is no taller than thirteen inches. Well, that and... would do me no good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not a chair. No, it's unbelievable the way this thing just expands, and you could put the you know the canopy like little yep. hammock seat on it and everything, and it's it can fit in a backpack with plenty of other room for other shit. Yeah, we all rock those. I have one. Kenny has one. Nick has one. Bob has one. We all rock those for camping. They're fucking great, dude. But you all do. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's like the human centipede up there on the campsite. <laughs> you know it. You know it. <laughs> oh, the Sonic Kyle. <laughs> oh, oh hey, yeah. You'll what's hit, you'll... What, is, what do you what do you have that I eat? <laughs> <laughs> Cuttlefish or vanilla pesto? <laughs> <laughs> You'll hit bottom with 13 inches, so. Yes, you will. Well, isn't bottom only like four inches? <laughs> I would know. I never found it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't from what trying. Tell you what, though. Oh, he's never found bottom, but he's pushed the sides out real far. <laughs> Mr. Ch- Chicken of the Sea over there. <laughs> I got to read this to you guys. So one of our new, one of our newer members in the discord, he goes by Gary, a quote, quote boot as, so that must be his road name. He said, just seeing the autism sportster for the first time on blockheads channel. I'm now headed to the emergency room because I've had a hard on for longer than four hours. (laughs) That can get painful, right? Thank you, though. Yes. Hey, and you guys did a good job on the Baggers and Brews podcast. Oh, or thanks. live stream. I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah. That thanks to fun. those guys. Yeah, thanks to those guys for having some of us on. Those, yeah, those yeah. Are, those are good dudes, dude. You know how cool it would be to do like a Baggers and Brews FDB uh, meetup? It would be pretty fun. That'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah. A good, find a good middle ground. Yeah. We, uh, we did. We did good. We uh, we sold almost twenty tickets while we were on Baggers and Brews, so so it was nice. awesome. And Blockhead's video really gave the bike a lot of exposure, and yeah, it's boosted. Yeah, we're, we're, tickets. we're still selling tickets from that video, and it yeah. was released. And I think we will for a while. Well, that's good. I hope so. Yeah, that's good that you know people are getting the bike out there. And I I messaged I messaged John, and I was I said you know thanks for putting that video up and promoting the bike and he's like no problem he's like sorry we're behind on videos i was like i was gonna say dude we released that bike in march Mm -hmm. (laughs) it's may but i can see how actually it worked out perfect man because i think stuff like that having it spread out yeah Mm -hmm. yeah i think it was you know instead of you know going in there like a 15 year old and shooting it all off at one time (laughs) (laughs) Mm. Okay. 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 So well. glide or die. Go ahead. Britt, can you see that, Brent? Britt? Go ahead. Read that. Yeah. One. Glide or die. Best seat for distance traveling. I have a Harley Davidson hammock seat, and it's okay, but could be better. What? So I guess he's anything asking. besides a Harley Davidson seat. <laughs> <laughs> anything. I got one for Sylvie, but what's <laughs> one? Yeah. <laughs> we Dude. have Lapera. I have Lapera, and Jared has Lapera. We both like them. Uh, I am a skinny person, so mine is still stiff. It does take time to break in the seat. And doesn't doesn't Dave have a Lapera now too? Yeah. I believe so. And I, and Dustin, you have a Lapera. Mm-hmm. Okay. I got one Tony, in the garage. And Tony has but one in the garage. You just what? changed to Saddleman. What made you change? I went with the with the San Diego Customs, and I, I will say that is a different seat than the Step Up. Mm-hmm. It is. 
it's a different seat. All it's a nicer seat too. Yeah, it's a and lot Tony, nicer seat. Tony, did you go the San Diego Customs with the with the lumbar support backrest, the small? No, backrest no, I didn't. I wasn't. I thought about that, but I didn't. But one of the big things with the San Diego Customs in the front, it's narrower. Yep. So it helps with my standover height. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. So that was one of the big reasons I did it. But uh, it's a great seat. But I mean, Lapera Mustang. Saddleman, they all make great options for seats. You, yeah. you can't go wrong with any one of those three brands. This is what I would suggest to everybody out there. I would suggest finding a dealership, even if you have to ride to one, that has trial seats and trial them. Hopefully they have trial seats of different brands because mm -hmm. seats are ass specific. I'm here to tell yes. you. You, I mean, I personally like a step up. I think the step up is the worst fucking seat ever. If I had a step up right now, I'd burn it in my backyard. I am <laughs> not a fan. I think it's a hard ass seat. It doesn't fit my ass right. But I will tell you this, the stock Harley touring seat that comes on the touring bikes from 2017 up, they're fine for me. I don't need another seat. Yeah, they're the not glide, yeah, I don't think the sport glide one was terrible, honestly. Yeah. They're they're not great for two up riding because the passenger pillion is garbage. Oh, terrible! It, it, it's it's not great for two up riding. So I actually did go with the. Um, I don't think it's the hammock seat. Uh, the one I got was the. Um, it's the extended reach seat, and I don't remember what it was, but it has a larger. It has a larger platform. It's the Harley stock Harley seat. My yeah. wife and I. D demoed it uh, at a dealership here in, or in Fargo. We demoed it. She liked it. We rode it. Now I just put a custom seat on my bike this week and um, it's a recovered stock Harley seat, but they actually made the passenger pillion bigger and added more padding to it. And then they shaved down the sides of the front of the seat so that like Tony said, it's not as wide and it's lowered about a half an inch. And this seat is the bomb, dude. I really, really like it. I've been riding it for the last little while. <clears throat> I'm still going to use my um, wild ass <clears throat> on all my long trips because I'm just going <clears> to, <throat> honestly, I, I haven't found anything that's as good as, as the wild ass seat for long trips. But you just got to trial seats because they are ass specific. They, they are. Man, I bought that Sundowner for the Slim. I nicknamed that the Nursing Home 4000. <laughs> that thing was fucking terrible too. So ugly. <laughs> but uh no, I forgot to even mention the wild ass seat cushions, man. Those things will turn a fucking shitty seat into a goddamn road sofa. Yeah. Yeah. You can they make a you, huge difference. Yeah, you can legitimately ride a garbage seat and put a put a wild ass cushion on there and you're fine. You yeah. don't need anything else. That the cushion is great. Does anybody been to a cycle trader? Do they do? Do they usually have seats in stock? You mean cycle no. gear? Cycle uh, gear? Yes, I'm sorry, cycle gear. No, That's no, strangers. man. The one, no, the one here kind of sucks, to be honest. They got helmets. Yeah, they, oh, they got a usual. Yeah. They, all, they all have a fuckload of. Helmets. Yeah, it's they got all your usual suspects and helmets, but uh, uh, yeah. that I mean, they really don't have much of the store here. It's pretty. You, I went and got my cardo there just because they had them, and I didn't have to wait. Mm. Yeah. The, uh, some of the dealerships have test seats. I know there's a handful at the one here in Lexington. Um, for anybody who's in the Lincoln, Omaha, Nebraska area, um, Spaz Cycle, that's one thing they pride themselves in. He's Bill's got a wall of seats, and he will let you test ride any seat you want to make sure that you actually want the seat you want. So Yeah, we have a small area, spinner display. Check him out. Yeah, we have a yeah. small spinner display of demo seats that people can try if they want. Yep. Yeah. It's so, it's nice when people provide that because seats yeah. are tough, it's man. Hard seats, to pick they're one not out. just tough, but they're fucking expensive. They're yeah, very you, expensive. and to make to make a wrong choice on a seat is an expensive wrong choice. You know, handlebars yep. are the same way. Oh, yeah. I mean, yep. if you fuck up exactly. on a handlebar buy, it's yep. a fucking big deal. Yep. I, I would say if there's any if there's any skill set. If you're good with tools and there's any skill set you should teach yourself on your bike, it's how to change out your bars because it's a very expensive thing to have done at a shop. They, they charge good money to have that done and you might fuck up. I mean, ask Tony. He's probably got 17 sets of handlebars in his garage. Seat. Yeah, man, I got bars. I can put on a set of bars in fucking an hour, an hour and a half. 
<laughs> fucking on and off, dude. Ready to roll. <laughs> I got it down to a science. Yeah, those are tricky. What's next? I'm a dependent motherfucker. Let's see. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'll read the name. Everyone's going to laugh. Mike Oxlong says, should I save up enough points on my Harley Davidson credit card to buy a sport glide? I have $400 worth of points right now. God damn, what has he bought? You better fucking... I you don't know. Keep saving. Now, I'm not sure if this is a serious or a not serious question. Well, you better start saving by like 2072. You might be ready to. It'll all be gone by then. And and you'll have to get one from Europe because I think that's the only yeah. place they're selling the sport selling the sport glide still. So yeah. I mean, sure, save up. So, Mister Longcox, we can get a nice used uh, one at Ted's Harley Davidson in Alton, Illinois. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I mean, Dustin and I like ours, so buy one. Yeah. Uh, if you're, the next... Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, if you're going to get a Sport Glide, uh, get the... What year is yours, Brittany? 19. Get a 19 Get a nineteen and get a white one. The white Dude, I tell you what. Dope. No fucking joke. White bikes sell the quickest. Yeah, they're fucking rad. Because we, yeah. we had a white Sport Glide. I, I'm not. I don't really care for the painted badge. I I, I like an actual badge on the side yeah. of the tank usually. Yeah. But man, somebody bought that in a hurry. And then every time we get a white bagger in, it's gone. In under white a week. bikes are pretty cool, man. They are dope. Yeah, yeah I kind of like them. Too. The white Sport Glide when they when they did when they did the paint match bags and the mm-hmm. white Sport Glide came out. That bike it is looks dope. Good. It's super dope. Badass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mine would is. always look dirty though, so it's probably a good thing I didn't get the white one. Mine would not. <laughs> Tony's would sparkle. He could yes. yeah. mine would not. He could stand right over by the bag and see his balls. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The next question is from Santi. Says, what are some cool tools you like to have on your bike for a big ride? All the zip ties you can carry. Yeah, he says, of course I have zip ties. I'm talking no. those random tools that you found as like a Ah, I guess I'll bring this, and now you don't leave without it. I'll tell you the best thing to do if you don't have a tool roll is to get online and get a Cruises tool yep. roll made specifically for your bike. Yep, Cruise it Tools. Has everything you need on it. Cruise Tools, and and there's also um, there's a quick tool that Cruise Tools sells. You should buy that because that has your T25, your T27. It has the common sockets, um, and it's 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 like a it's like a pocket tool, you know. I'm making a square with my hands right now. It's about this big, um, and it has a bunch of different things on it. That's really handy. But Tony's right, spot on. Cruise tools right on Amazon. Go buy that. Put it in your bag. It's got everything you need. And I mean, if it doesn't, I mean, you want to like. For me, I was thinking critical fasteners, stuff that comes loose. So you want to make yeah. sure you have the size for those. Your hand controls your stem on your handlebars. You know what I mean? Yep. Shit Dustin, that can work itself loose. Dustin, what did you just buy? What did I just buy? Didn't you? You bought a pump, right? Air moto oh, pump? Oh, yes. The air moto pump. Very handy. Yeah. Air, yeah. air moto pump. That thing is that thing is pretty dope. And tire plugs. And small. Tire and, plugs. And, and, and tire plugs. Because if you don't, if you have a tubeless bike, all you got to do is patch that fucking tire. Put a tire plug Bring in there up. and pump that motherfucker up and get on the road. I'll tell you what else I got. I bought a fucking motorcycle. It's not specific, but it's a small no-co. Yeah. Uh, to put back there. So you can charge your phone. You can jump a bike. You can, you know, power something. If you need to power something, it's fucking yeah. great. And it's so, little it's little bitty, and it doesn't take up any fucking room. The other thing I think that we, uh, well, well, Nick invested in it, and I think you'll see more of us probably start to run them, is that... Um, you can get fuel cans that fit in your saddlebags. Yep. Having a gallon of gas, especially if you're on long trips, not a bad idea. Um, and even some extra oil. Um, so, um, cause you know, you can, your, uh, air cleaner can loosen up and you can blow oil all over the side of your bike. Your push rod covers can loosen up and that can leak oil. There's a bunch of places. And, and, and these aren't, these aren't things that, you would say are just things that go wrong with Harleys, right? It's a machine and things can loosen up. And if you're not checking your bike every time you're washing it, 
these can, things can loosen up. But if you're on a long trip or a big ride, you need to have these things. The other thing you need is a bob. I have a bob. <laughs> and Bob <laughs> will tear a fucking bike apart on the side of the road and put it back together. So uh, having somebody that, that's a little bit handy, that knows their way around a motorcycle, is not a bad thing either. And for the YouTube version, I will put some of the uh, recommended products down in the description. Well, there oh, you go, Brittany. Look and at you. You can click them. So put, a all link, your put a link to Bob's Instagram. That's yeah. right. I will do that as well. Rent that Bob. bitch out. That, Rent actually. Bob out That's not happen. for long take him rides. The, take him to the Ozarks. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I, and, I, and I'm here to tell you, I, I've I learned a lesson in the last little while that uh, um, if you if you watch enough good and I, and I mean good in in terms of content, YouTube videos, you have a manual and you pay attention. You there's, can do it. I, there's a number of things on your bike you can do. And if you guys haven't listened to the podcast with Patrick from JMP Cycles, Patrick stated on the podcast, these are not my words, these are his, he is not formally trained. Patrick did not go to school to wrench on motorcycles. He has self-taught and it's all experience. And when he says on JMP Cycles, again, his words, if I can do it, you can do it. He's truly saying that for the garage wrencher. Okay? Because... The, he self-taught. So a lot of the skills, part of it is you just can't be afraid to fuck up, right? No, that, I'd let that man work on my motorcycle without oh, hesitation. I would too, without a, without a second thought. So. Without hesitation. I just don't let anybody fuck with my shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Vic. Uncle asks, Vic. Come quit. sit on Uncle Vic's lap. Mm. Oh, no, that's Okay. <laughs> Question for spelled F O U R the five. If someone was to give you for your household a new Honda Mini Moto for free, I'd kick, I would fucking burn it. <laughs> what would you pick and why? Some old people like to feel like a kid again, and little kids like to feel like grown ups. Mini bike. I would take the monkey. Give me the monkey. Every day, they are fun. Mm. I'm pretty did sure. You that's see, the did you one see some I of the new see. ones? They have a seat on them that looks like a lining of a picnic basket. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, the, that Trail 125 is a fun bike to ride too, uh-huh. because it's just so fucking quirky because it doesn't have a clutch. Hmm. Ah. It's really cool. I would go no, with the monkey too. No, fun. I don't. I don't think you go wrong with it with either of them. With any of them, really. I think. Yeah. I think if I was going to do that, I would want something. That was, uh, yeah, like, like the Trail 125, or, uh, um, or I would, I would do a Grom and put like little knobbies or something on it so I could take it off road. You know what I mean? Just make yeah. it a little bit, just make it a little bit more, you know, so you could do some fuckery with it. I mean, for me, a Grom would be perfect because I could just pick it up and throw it in the back of my truck, and then just <laughs> take it out to, you know, wherever, and you know, ride it out in the farm field, and then, you know, actually, you would fit better on the Trail 125. It's a touch bigger than the Grom. Yeah, is it got a little bit more room in it? Is it'll have a little bit? Is is what about the engine size? It's the it's a they're all the same engine. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Yeah, wait a minute. I might be fibbing to you. The I think the Trail One Twenty Five is the older Grom engine. Oh, the older. Okay. Yeah, but the Grom and the Monkey all have it's the same motor in both of them. Yeah, that'd be that'd be fun. I I really would. I really would dig that. I think it'd be fun. They're they're novelty bikes for sure, Mm -hmm. but they are fun to ride. Buck, they got that new Navi for eighteen hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. Yep, I've seen one of them at the yeah. shop. Fun little bike. All right, Walter, Mister Volts. Oh shit! If you were forced to paint your bike, your current bike, to a different color, what color would it be? Who forces anybody to paint a bike? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what color it'd be. That fucking sparkly blue that's on that fucking chopper we got. <laughs> oh, that's a good color. That fucking is the best looking color I've ever seen. You know what? You know what color Milkbone said that was? What? This fucks blue. Well, <laughs> it's oh, nice. Fucking badass, dude. <laughs> that's the color I'd paint my bike. That bass boat blue. It's fucking cool, man. 
Would you get sick of it in a year? Because we know nay, you don't nay. like a lot of color. Nay, nay. No, I love blue. Mm. Those, no, fast, that's... those fast Johnnies got me blue on the brain. Uh oh. I would go with trading in. No, 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 no. Dust, Dustin gets a discount. I want to paint. I want to paint my bike when it's paid off. He said so. He's we we know Dustin would go blue. Brittany, what about you? What would you do if you had to paint your bike? Probably like a turquoise or an orange or both. Not just any blue, Ryan. Billiard blue. Billiard oh, blue. Oh, yeah. You remember, Le- remember Leo's Road Glide? Yeah, yep, yep. I like. I love it. What, what about love- dildo pink? <laughs> no. <laughs> How about roast beef brown? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chipmunk chestnut is what I'm going with. <laughs> So if you guys haven't seen any of the any of the old so any of the old school bikes, so I, I have two paint jobs in mind that I would do. Um, if you've seen any of the old bikes, it, it's an 80s paint scheme. It would be like a panel paint scheme. Um, and it's like a root beer color. And the root beer is uh um <laughs> is sparkly is a root beer and cream. <laughs> it's a root beer and cream. It's very retro 1980s and then the pinstriping mm. would be like would be gold mm. like uh um the turned gold gold leaf you know um i think that would be i think that would be, would be such a throwback on my bike to paint it that color um the i do other, like that that brown and gr- that brown and cream deal. yeah brown That'd and green gold, and gold yeah. is what i would do with it and the other the other color that i've always thought and that's actually like i said it's a real 1980s retro throwback um the other color that i've always really liked is uh um the deep candy red where the bike looks where it, i don't want to say it looks black but it's a dark dark it's not it's not maroon or burgundy it's definitely red and it has like that sparkle in it but it's it's deep like a really deep 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 color i like mm-hmm. those two so like what they did with the candy customs paints yeah, yeah, but back, darker, like I ten think, years right? ago, whatever. It yep. Was. So like they paint it red, and then they do the like the candy is like a black over top of it, so it's so it's just really really dark dark red. Uh, it almost looks black unless you get it out in the sun. Yep, yep. Yeah, it's definitely red in the about. sun, yeah. but at night it might look black. Yep. I, I like I like that color, but my first choice right now, I definitely would do the, the root beer and cream with uh with gold leaf. That would be my. I call that, that bike the A and W bike. Oh, yeah, no you know shit. it, dude. <laughs> the root you beer have... float. I, I I just I just think you, I just think it would look so dope on a, like a modern Road King to have that '80s paint scheme. I would fucking I'd rock that all day long. All right, next. Those were good answers. Good answers. This is more of a comment, but I'll read it anyway, just to address it. Even though I did in the Discord. This is from Striker76. Was just listening to your episode on Soft Tales, which must have been a while back. And you guys skipped an entire line of them. Why wasn't anything older than the new release Discuss, Bad Boy, Sprinkler's Deuce, or the Awesome Night Train? I think that's because we were just talking current models. Yeah. Yeah. But those Deuces are cool bikes, though. Some of the old soft tails were pretty cool, but I mean, they weren't as cool as they were. They're, they're not, in, not even in the ballpark of the new ones. They're not as far as handling goes. No, they're not. The old, the old bike actually that I really liked is uh, the crossbones. Mm. Yeah. That's a bad motherfucker too. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So the last one is Gary boot. He said, question regarding the maintenance podcast. Harley says, oh, shit. every two years for brake fluid, ABS brakes require the scan tool to get the fluid out of the ABS module. Is there any way around this? I don't know. I'm not going to comment on that because yeah, I, don't I don't know. know. Either. And, I, and I actually I think, think so. that somebody answered this question for him in the general chat. People can scroll back. I think there's a tool you can buy. It's not cheap. It's six or $700 that allows this uh, maintenance to happen. And uh, I, I guess I would probably change brake pads, but the fluid I'd probably take my bike in to have it changed out just so I didn't fuck around too much with that. It's a fucker. Mm. 
Well, thanks everybody for your questions. Discord, remember, is fucking free, so go to 5DirtyVikers.com and get in there and talk with us. We do not charge you to talk to us. <laughs> we should. <laughs> but we don't. We should pay them. Yeah. <laughs> 